video i'll be answering questions ranging from nursery places child minding and getting your child into practice Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Timmy and I am also known as Niger Mom in Diaspora. I currently live in Birmingham, United Kingdom and I am a mom of two adorable boys. I um, do videos about life in Birmingham, life in West Midlands, um, life in the UK generally as an immigrant mom with two children. Today, I'll be answering one of my most asked questions, which is how do I do child care? So when people are moving to the UK, their first response or their first question, is, how do I handle my children? And obviously, lots of us have heard in Nigeria or in whatever country you're from that child care is expensive in the UK. However, it is expensive, but it can also be minimized. Um, so yes, you in today's video i'll be talking about nursery spaces child minding and getting your child into primary school so if your child is below the age of three the first thing you'll be thinking about is child minder now a child minder is somebody who looks after your child for you whilst you're away now this child minder we have them um on different websites which i'll try to post some the screen on this website you can always look for child minders that are not too far from your area now some of these child minders will charge between four pound an hour to eight pound an hour if you have multiple children they may give you daily discounts or monthly discounts these ones are are registered with the government you can also find a friend around who probably doesn't work or doesn't work as much as and you guys can split taking care of each other's children so if she goes to work for say 10 hours a week you can look after her children for those 10 hours whilst you go to work and she looks after yours however the downside to this is if anything goes wrong or happens to your child you will prosecute it so would your friend so you might want to put your child in safety for these friends kind of looking after your children, you can't get to pay them money. Um, you can only give them gifts, you can buy them food and stuff like that for friendship's sake. So it's just like a reward, but you shouldn't normally pay them because it's not a job. It's just a friend looking after a friend's child. Now there are some types of child minders which we would call illegal child minders. Now these ones are not registered with the government in any form, but they look after people's children for a token. Now the downside to that as well is if anything happens to your child, you will be prosecuted and so will the person be. So it's best for you to find child minding services that are registered with the government and try to bargain for good prices for them, especially if you've got more than one child. So you can beat down prices, you can check. Um, so this, these child minders are actually regulated by the government. They come for checks, people look after them. People um, try to see their quality, people come in, checking, checking in on them and stuff like that. So that is that for getting a child minder. However, I would still say if you're not, if you don't have to work or if you don't have to do so many hours of work, and if you're coming with your partner, it's best for you and your partner to switch roles in looking after the children. So if one person is at work, the other person should be at home looking after the children. If the other person is in school, the other person should be at home looking after the children. As it will save you lots of money. So on days where there are emergencies or you just have to both be out, you can then pay a child minder for particular hours. The next thing is getting into nursery space. Now, getting into nursery in the UK is all children um, above the ages of three 
can get into government funded nursery spaces for 15 hours a week so if your child is three years old or above or between the or should i say between the ages of three and five so five being that um when they turned four term was term time was already over so they couldn't get them into um term time registration was already over that don't let me confuse you so for getting into primary school your child must have turned four years old your child must have turned five years old before september so if your child doesn't turn five years old before september and they turn five years old after september they will still be in nursery until the next term time do you understand so if your child doesn't turn five years old before september they'll still be in nursery until the next term term time so between the ages of three and five they get 15 hours of nursery in government funded places so your child can go three hours a week three hours a day from monday to friday or five hours a day three times a week that is on you and the nursery now if you also want to pay for more nursery time you can always go to private nurseries that will charge you between the between the amount of eight pounds to nine pounds so those are places per hour so those are places you can always put your children for nursery however if your child is below the age of three you can get a child minder or you pay for private nurseries so these are the ways to do child care in the uk if you have a baby bye baby if you've got a baby obviously there's really not much you can do the best is to put your baby in the hands of your partner if you've got grown-up children they go to nursery you can find a friend around like i said earlier who can also help you look after your child whilst you go you look after them it must be on the person's obligation just to help you okay and you can't pay them or you shouldn't pay them because when you pay them you've turned them into illegal child minors so these are ways that you can take care of your children however in another video i'll be answering how to get your children into primary school so till i come your way next week i mean <laughs> so till i come your way next week actually if you have any further questions please shoot me a dm at niger mom in diaspora on twitter you can send me an email you can leave your questions in the comment section after i answer about primary school there's another juicy question that i would love 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 to answer because lots of people ask me this question day in and day out all right guys i think that's all for today thank you for staying tuned and thank you for watching